All right, good evening. I've got a, uh, I've got here a USA made Gibson Explorer. Gorgeous guitar, very well made. Uh, belongs to a very good friend and brother of mine, Nelson Hale. And um, he asked me to uh, replace all the potentiometers in it. He was having some noise issues, like scratchy kind of weird noises going on with it. Um, <clears throat> He suspected maybe it was the pickup, the bridge pickup, which I wound both of these for him. Um, yeah, he put the original Gibson pickup back in, didn't correct the problem. So he ordered some new potentiometers. I have uh, since then replaced the pots and put the, uh, the, the custom pickup back in that I wound. And um, it appears that we don't have the noise issue now. So not really sure what was probably causing that. Could have been a, maybe a poor ground or something somewhere. But uh, right now I've got, I'm in the middle position on the uh, switch here. So I've got both pickups, volumes all the way up, turn all the way up. And I don't hear any noise other than just typical hum from, you know, like LED lights that pickups will tend to catch some interference from. But anyway. <laughs> Looks like we're good to go, and uh, just I'll bring it back to you, or you can come pick it up. But uh, anyway, I strung it up with some new strings too. By the way, these are DR Pure Blues nine gauge nine through forty two, and I really like these strings. I like the way they sound and the way they feel. They're not uh, quite as slinky as like an, an Ernie Ball um, super slinky, but uh, I think the tone that you get from them is really sweet. So I've got them on a couple of other guitars of mine. And uh, so anyway, we figured we'd try them out on the, uh, the Explorer. And uh, I think it's a great guitar. I cleaned it all up, polished the, uh, the frets and oiled the fingerboard. Gave it a treatment and this thing's ready to rock and roll. So uh, hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 